welcome folks, one and all, to let's quickly play a, a really bad rendition of Ash and Pokemon. Throwing a Pokeball, but where and what? The answer is, let's quickly play Pocket Monsters, a pirate game for the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. With decent uh, voice clips. I'm not going to click the options, because the options bugs out the graphics and the rest of the game. So, it's a flashy Pocket Monsters thing, and a Pikachu. How could this game possibly get worse? We'll find out by playing. Stage 1, in the forest. Ash, you're not in this game. And apparently neither is Pikachu, because the only person in this is an extremely ugly rat, called, well, looks vaguely like Pikachu. The music is, for the first level, exceptionally annoying. And that thing is going to throw apples at me forever. Also, what Pokemon is that? The answer is, I highly doubt it's a Pokemon at all. But for the purposes of this game, we shall name it. And it shall be called Larry. And there's a Beedrill. It's dead now. And the chirpiest Porygons I've ever seen in my whole life. Yes, folks, I did play Pokemon when I was younger, but only red and blue. By the time the other ones came out, I seriously grown out. Oh, God, those things actually move. And also, they're not Pokemon. They look like little artist people. <laughs> yes, but you may have gathered by now, this game is not very good. And if you haven't... What game are you watching? Because you're not watching the one I'm playing. Also, just to show you, Pikachu hits the ground like he's made of steel. Pikachu, Pokemon of steel. Before steel Pokemon were actually made. Grab his heart that restores health. By the way, don't ask me why I'm picking up batteries. Okay, ask me why I'm picking up batteries. The reason why I'm picking up batteries is because Pikachu apparently charges his Thundershock with batteries. Yep. Exactly how he did it. That's how he did it in the anime as well, I imagine. He probably just charged it up with batteries. Duracell. Pikachu recommends it. That's death down there. By the way, no checkpoints in this game. By dying, I start. Right at the beginning. So, we will not be falling anymore. We'll be endeavouring to survive. Ever we can. We just have three whole minutes there. That I've just got to redo. Because, folks, this game is so hard. We're doing this as a challenge. Or, I started playing yesterday, and very shortly afterwards I finished it. Not of the music yet? I certainly am. I hate it. By the way, if you're asking, do extra lives respawn every time you die? Yes. Negating the point of dying on this level. Because you could just go back and get the extra life. This time, we're going to save state. The best thing to do is actually to go down to this branch and ignore the diamonds that for some reason I've no and I have no idea what they actually do in this game. Also, there's a mini boss on this level. It's the only boss with a mini boss, and it's an absolutely giant pincer. Who is beaten like every other boss in this game by jumping on his head. I could use my electricity on him, but there is no reason for me to actually do this. I prefer to save it for the actual boss of this level. I don't want you see the actual boss of this level. You won't believe it. Because I hope you won't believe it. If you do believe it, I have to ask what games you've been playing. So, this is Pikachu smashing his um, body into an absolutely humongous pincer. I wish Pikachu would actually smash his body into a giant pincer. Do us all a favor. But no! Oh, he's dead. And he fades out of existence. And now, that one exists. That takes us back. Look like a demon rat. Pikachu. As you can 
Whoopsie! There's another Porygon! And this jump is a bit iffy, unless you let the... Unless you wait, and let the um, thing scale. Not scale, scroll, sorry. This jump is also a bit iffy. And a grub! Does anyone remember that Pokemon? I don't. I don't know what year this game was released, or what part of Pokemon this was meant to capitalize on, but I imagine the early parts. By the way, sometimes you'll fall into this one. And falling into that one is instant death. So let's load the game up. I have absolutely no desire to die instantly by entering that. Battery. By the way, there are diglets in this game. See them? How may I ask you to defeat Diglett? The same way you defeat everything. I oh, jumping on his head. <laughs> All Diglets are apparently really old. Jump on this uh, floating twig. That Pokeball gives you invincibility for about half a second. <laughs> really not worth getting, really. You can only kill that one Diglett with it. We're approaching the boss of this level, and trust me, you won't believe it when you see it. You really won't. No, no, really, you won't. You won't believe it. Jump in. Today's boss is Ninja Snorlax. That's right. This, by the way, is our special power, the ability to... It hits everyone on screen. So I might as well just do it anyway. And now I have actually run out of power. So now I must combat the great ninja Snorlax. Seriously, did they look at do they even know what Snorlax is like? Yes. Snorlax is that really lazy one, isn't he? What we need is for him to be a ninja. He has a lot of health, the Snorlax. Which at least makes sense. And apparently hitting one on the head reveals his skeleton. Obviously causing great skeletal damage to this character. Also, this is by far one of the easier bosses of the game. Does make sense considering it's on stage one. I'm actually running out of health. Right, all my health recharges when I get to the next level. I only have a few more hits. Oh, bugger. Come on. I'm not dying to the first boss. Don't worry, the music changes next stage. And he's dead! Level 2! It's hot! Now, folks! People who've watched my Mortal Kombat 5 LP will recognize this tune. And if you don't, go watch Mortal Kombat 5. It's painful, but you'll recognize this tune. Which makes me start to think that many of these pirate games just take the same graphics and everything and the music from everyone else. If anyone else can find any games with this music in it, I'll be interested to know. But we're on level 2 now. And Pikachu is scratching his head. <laughs> until then, folks. Until then. Pikachu descends into hell itself to battle Lucifer. It's the only explanation I can give for this whole level. Until then, folks. Until then.